In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Destroyer of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our admirable guide, you who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil, who turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Amen. Pray for us, O glorious and Michael, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. May the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. During this Mass, we pray for the following intentions. Souls of C.V. Thomas and Philomena Thomas, Leonel Emanuel, Roman Raymond Rodriguez, Mary Charles Fernandez, Mary Monica, Verghese Tekinerita, Dr. Joseph Martuma Metropolitan, Thanksgiving by Elizabeth Kiran, Joshi Clement and family, Special intention, Jomon Jos, Ethan Antao. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, we are going to hear Jesus speaking about the right relationship between humanity and God. Just as the image of Caesar stamped on a Roman coin indicates that the coin belongs to Caesar. So the image of God stamped on every person means that everyone belongs to God. As we also celebrate today World Mission Sunday with its theme, Here Am I, Send Me, may we never forget that we are all missionaries accompanied by Jesus, the true missionary, even in the midst of some disorientations and fears brought about by health and economic crisis in the world nowadays, 
due to the pandemic situations, still the very calling of Jesus resounds in the whole world, calling each individual to join with him in the missionary work by way of their simple lives and realities in life. Let us now call to mind their sins and ask the Lord for pardon and his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. will it is that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Look upon your abundant harvest and be pleased to send workers to gather it, that the gospel may be preached to all creation, and that your people, gathered by the word of life and sustained by the power of the sacraments, may advance in the path of salvation and love. As through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whom he has taken by his right hand, to subdue nations before him and strip the loins of kings, to force gateways before him that their gates be closed no more. It is for the sake of of my servant Jacob, of Israel, my chosen one, that I have called you by your name, conferring a title, so you do not know me. I am the Lord, unrivaled. There is no other God besides me. Though you do not know me, I arm you, that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun, that apart from me, all is nothing. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. A response to the psalm shall be, Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord glory and power. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the people. Give the Lord glory and power. The Lord is great and worthy of praise. To be feared above all gods, the gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and power. Worship the Lord in his temple, O earth. Tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. He will judge the people in his fairness. Give the Lord glory and power. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. From Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church in Thessalonica, which is in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, wishing you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We always mention you in our prayers and thank God for you all and constantly remember before God our Father how you have shown your faith in action, worked for love and persevered through hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers, that God loves you and that you have been chosen because when we brought the good news to you, it came to you not only as words, but as power and as the Holy Spirit and as utter conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went away to work out between them how to trap Jesus in what he said. And they sent their disciples to him together with the Herodians to say, Master, we know that you are an honest man and teach the way of God in an honest way and that you are not afraid of anyone because a man's rank means nothing to you. Tell us your opinion then. Is it permissible to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus was aware of their malice and replied, You hypocrites, why do you set this trap for me? Let me see the money you pay the tax with. They handed him a denarius and he said, Whose head is this? Whose name? Caesar's, they replied. He then said to them, Very well, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. A story was told about a priest who was approached by a couple with their baby cuddled by the wife and said, Father, we are from this parish. We're lay missionaries to Papua New Guinea and uh, we're, we're on vacation. So they got talking about their work. And that amazed the priest. The priest found it very inspiring that a lay couple could make the sacrifice of leaving a comfortable home and a country to devote some years in the bush mission in the mountains. Today is a celebration of World Mission Sunday. I cannot help but to make a good reflection of what had been in the past in my life as a missionary. I've been in that place also, in Papua New Guinea. And I know the situation. Living in a bush with a tribal community is not that an easy way of dealing with life. The example of that couple, I should say, disproves the misconception that is spreading God's word belongs to religious missionaries alone. Or to the priests. Or to the nuns. The truth of the matter is this. Every Christian by virtue of baptism is a missionary. Are you a baptized Catholic Christian? Then claim it yourself that you are a missionary. Obviously, not all can do 
what the couple missionary did. If some, you know, heroic people can do it, that's fine. But for most of us, all that we can do is to be missionaries at home. Whether you are a teacher, an ordinary housewife, a student, a nurse by profession, an executive, a lawyer, it doesn't matter. What counts is not geography, but the attitude. Remember St. Therese of the Child Jesus? She is a Carmelite nun. She never stepped out of the four walls of her, you know, Carmelite cloister. But she was chosen as the universal patroness of Catholic missionaries. The Catholic mission has this for us to say that St. Therese of the Child Jesus merited even the little, you know, burning obsession to save souls by offering every little act or sacrifices every bodily pain for the conversion of immortal souls. She was connected with the world with those acts of sacrifices. And that is why she was pronounced as the patron saint of mission. Now, let's pose this question to ourselves at this moment. How can we be missionaries at home? Since most of us move <laughs> within the vicinity of the four walls in our residences, like St. Therese, we can offer prayers and sacrifices for the missions. The invitation for us is very clear. There are people who have offered themselves actively doing missions outside the places of their comfort. For one, it is visible now before you a priest who is a missionary. Have you ever thought of offering at least a special prayer for a priest spreading this good news? It is an urgent call. And in that sense, in that way, then you, you're doing also your missionary homework. You're doing the work of missions. If not making financial contributions, yes, I know, money, is what we receive when we are employed. As such, missionaries need financial support also. That is why every now and then, annually, when World Mission Sunday comes, all the collections in all the masses are being sent directly to Rome for these purposes, to help. 
it is good to consider what we heard in the gospel today. It is not by way of taking into consideration the very realities that we are moving in as citizens of the nation. Let us also remember that we are also citizens of heaven. That is why Jesus was very bold. Because of the trap they laid before him, so smart. He did not answer them back, yes or no, but rather he let himself be clear by asking, whose stamp you see on the coin? <laughs> whose name? They said, it's Caesar. So then, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. What about the example of asking by way of what belongs to God, give it back to God. There was none. The truth of the fact is that all of us, everything that we could think of that exists here on earth, have stamped of God. He was the very author of creation, right? He's the very author of my life. So I have in me the brand mark of God, the stamp of God. And so therefore, I belong to God. All of us belong to God. Fundamentally, we are gods. Everything else in this world belongs to God. So return it back to God. That is a hint for these people asking questions to Jesus. It is implicated in that sense. But he did not say, even that of Caesar's belongs to God. He did say, the stump you can see belongs to who huh, owned it. And so therefore, it's a good reflection on each of us. We have the stamp of God. And so therefore, Jesus continuously is calling us to let this stamp spread out. I can be a good missionary wherever I may be through my words, through my way of thinking or acting. It is because it is expected that what I should do has always in consonance with the stamp that I have in me. If I have the stamp of God, I should speak out whatever has its connection with the stamp. There and then, you can become a good missionary. By way of thinking, let us always think that we are stamped of God, and so therefore, whatever thoughts we could imagine, we could create in our mind, should always be in accordance with what God is expecting from us. And that can also be put into action. There and then, we can be good missionaries. Think of it. You can bring this along with you after the celebration. And the invitation remains the same. Let us be missionaries alongside with Jesus in our own simple way of living. God bless us all. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, 
born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Prayers of the Faithful Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God our Father, who directs men and events to serve his purpose of saving all mankind, and say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and catechists, that seeing in them a genuine faith, hope, and love, people may feel attracted to submit to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For each one of us, that in obeying civil or religious authorities, we may do so out of love for Christ and never out of interest or in a servile spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in, in your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. For those in authority, that they may willingly discharge their duties as a service to the Lord and to the people entrusted to their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. For all people, that they may allow themselves to be guided by God at all times for their own salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your, your mercy, mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our own personal intentions. Father, your Son, Jesus, though the Lord of all submitted to human authority, may we further your plans to save all men by willingly submitting to those you have placed over us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the face of your Christ, who handed himself over as a ransom for all, so that through him from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name may be exalted among the nations, and in every place a single offering may be presented to your majesty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord and Savior, for through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the founts of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Fate. You 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, in Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grants her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed. With the reception of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, with the Christ the Savior. What shall I render to the Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Receiving the sacraments of your Christ, we pray, O Lord, that you may renew in your church the sanctifying grace you have given, and that all who glory in the name of Christian may come to serve you in unity of faith. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a moment for the church announcements. We celebrate today the World Mission Sunday. It started last Friday, Saturday, and in this mass Sunday. The collections during these days will be sent to the Holy Father to support the missionary activities around the world. Birthday and wedding anniversary Thanksgiving Mass will be celebrated on Monday, 26 October at 8 p.m. in the church. Those who celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries from last March till this month and wish to participate can register their names at the parish office before the 24th of October. Catechism Online catechism class timing is as follows. Friday classes, grades 1, 3, 4, 6, and 8, 10 a.m. Grades 2 and 5, 11 a.m. Grades 7 and live 10, 12 noon. For Saturday classes, grades 1 to 8, 9.30 in the morning. The existing new students who have already registered will receive the email from the teacher informing them the grade, section, and time of class. Those who have not yet registered should please visit the church website and register under the tab Catechism English. Parents are requested to encourage their children to participate in the online Catechism Mass that is scheduled every Friday at 9 a.m. It is an obligatory mass for all catechism students. With the inauguration of our Golden Jubilee celebration on the 11th October 2020, we are happy to invite our parishioners to suggest a spiritual theme based on the Word of God be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and keeping in mind the Paris motto, one God, one faith, one church, one family, St. Michael's Catholic Church, 50 years journey of our church for our Golden Jubilee celebration. Your suggestion of the theme with limited words should be sent by email to charges St. Michael at gmail.com matty1808 uh, hot at mail.com latest by Thursday 22nd October 2020 which will then be reviewed and finalized by the committee thank you please kneel down let us now pray the Golden Jubilee Prayer. God, our loving Father, today we give thanks to you for your goodness. Through all the years of worship and witness in this parish of St. Michael, we give you thanks for your grace in calling us to be your people, for your love revealed to us in Christ your Son, for your gifts of the Spirit and the joy of salvation. We give thanks for those who established this parish 50 years ago and for their faith and vision, for their gifts and abilities. We thank in a special way the ruler of Sharjah and the government departments for their generosity and kind gestures towards the parish. We give thanks for all who have been members of this community, those who have given freely of their time and treasure, and for those whose wisdom guided all the faithful. We give thanks for all who have preached and taught here, for all who have confessed here that Jesus is Lord and all who today lead in worship, witness, and service in this parish. O God, from living and chosen stones, 
you prepare an everlasting dwelling place for your majesty. Grant that in the power of the Holy Spirit, those who serve you here may always be kept within your presence. May the gospel we proclaim be the gospel we live, not only in this jubilee year, but throughout the entirety of our lives. May we, your Church, with the help of Mary, our Mother, and the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, become a true sacrament to the world. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. All stand up, please. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I again he lives he lives he lives he lives